So you're going to church camp and you don't know what to bring. Well, in this channel, I'm going to show you guys what you guys need to bring. And I'm so excited to tell you guys today because it's been a really good week. I finished my exams. It's time to celebrate. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Jackie. Watch it once upon a church. Now, if you've been here for a while, you will know that I have changed my wallpapers. Everything here is new. And if you want to know more about it, I'm so keen to make a video about like a whole room tour about this. Like this new little background I made. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the background because it's so boring back then. It wasn't like a lot. So I had to change. I had to get some new stuff. And this is just amazing. I've got stuff from Japan itself. But anyways, if you're new here, welcome to this channel. And definitely like, comment, subscribe if you like more of these camp videos, especially when it's summer in America. But just letting you know, I'm not American. I am from New Zealand. It is winter here. So I'm making this like summer video. It's a little bit weird, eh? Anyways, let's get this started. Now, something that people don't bring a lot is a small instrument that they usually play at home. And it's really awesome to bring musical instruments such as guitar, uh, a harmonica, things they can easily carry around to church camps when you have a campfire together. They have this thing called the kalimba, and this is a really amazing thing. Let me just play it for you guys, okay? Now this is an amazing thing you can play around when people are asleep, you can play around when it's like campfire, you can play around, it's just anywhere will fit. So if you don't have any musical instruments, definitely get a kalimba, because a kalimba right here is actually a really, really easy and affordable and also just convenient to play around. That's good. Okay, second thing to bring is actually a card game. And I think card games don't necessarily mean gambling, but especially if your church has anything like such as you can't bring like card games, playing card games, then it's okay with you guys. What I have here is Citadels. It's a really fun two to eight people player game. And this is a really easy to learn, easy to get used to the, the whole format of this game. Search it up online. There's Citadel's 2016 version I have as well. But this is like the smaller version where you can bring around so much easier, so much more convenient to bring and easy to learn. 2016 special edition. If you don't have this and you play this game often, you're missing out. It's a really easy to learn strategy game with multiple ways to win. It's just amazing in general. Now I know a lot of you guys like to go hiking or just like go around and just in the forest have a walk around there. You want to listen to the nature but you also want to listen to some music. Well in this case, how can we listen to music while listening to nature itself as well? Here's a solution. Now if you don't know what this is, this is a headphone but it's an open ear headphone and this is really good because all you do is plug in your ears it uses your vibration sensors gets you right here and you hear the music while your ears are open so you can walk around in nature like go hiking everywhere and listen to some music if you want and also listen to nature really beautiful sound it's also a small convenient and also safe to use but if you don't want to listen to anything you want quiet you want peace then i suggest you get these little earmuffs where you can put it around your ears if you're in a car a really noisy car if you're somewhere where you, where you just want peace in general this can help you. It'll just block out as much sound as possible. You can even sleep a lot better. It's small, it's cheap. You can just put in your ears and just have peace. This is really important. I have SSD or hard drives that you guys must bring. Now you all know that when taking a lot of videos, you take a lot of space in your phone or in your camera and we need all these SSD and hard drives so we can store everything without losing all your favorite moments. If you're a youth pastor, you might even want to put your PowerPoints, your documents inside and just like put it on your computer for PowerPoint display, everything like that. You can just use it. It's that convenient. SSD is really good for you. It's really fast. These portable hard drives are really small. They're really easy to bring. Uh, maybe not so cheap, but it's definitely worth the investment. Especially if you have a lot of video files, a lot of photos, things like that you need to keep protected as well. All right, the next one is for certain people, but not the other. So listen now if you're one of these people. Now, I don't know which phone that you use, but if you're using a Samsung phone or a Nokia phone, you can use these portable chargers. And what these portable chargers are, do, 
they pretty much take a battery out of your phone and just put it in here and just put it on charge just like a regular phone whenever your battery is out of like power and you're in the middle of like the forest or something hiking you can use this quickly to like just change the and your phone's back to life again this is a really small really cheap really easy to use like device and it's something that you have to get especially when you're in camp all right the next one's pretty obvious but you have to get a thermal bottle this is going to be keeping you warm or cold wherever you want and i know especially in camps it can get pretty cold at night so this is a really convenient way to actually get warm water in the middle of the night when you need it the most this is really good especially when you go to beaches you get like really a dry from all the salt water uh, just being under the sun a lot this is a really good way to actually keep yourself moisturized so you don't get all flaky skin your hair is all flaky you don't want that also last but not least don't forget to bring a pump especially when you go to like a beach or something you want to play with like the beach volleyball or just something they need to pump air into you know the balls they tend to lose air when you need the most for some reason so definitely keep these things now if you play musical instruments, you play guitar for example, you need a capo and capo is something that's really easily forgotten, something that's small, sometimes you leave it in your jacket and it's just like gone. Also bring picks if you have any like um, guitar picks and stuff like that, definitely bring those up as well or even like um, putting stuff into the mic, you have pickups which can plug into speakers. Those are really important and it's really useful to have in a camp, especially when you have a lot of musical instruments, you're playing worship songs, praise and worship right there. It's going to be really good if you have all these plugins. So I hope you guys enjoyed this list right here. I know you guys enjoyed my previous video, the 30 things that you must bring to church camp. And I think this is a really good video to follow up with that. If you haven't watched that, definitely click on that video and I'll put it right around the card area around here. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys comment on what you guys bring to church camp. Do you enjoy church camp? What other videos do you want me to make? This is a really important question because I really want to like make this video just for you guys as well. So definitely let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.